Hello guys, welcome back. So we have done with AWS CLI. Now we'll see AWS hyphen shell. So what is this AWS hyphen shell and why we need it? So AWS shell is a command line shell program that provides convenience and productivity features to help both new and the advanced user as it is written officially. Why we are going to use this? Because it has some advantages over AWS CLI. You don't know what all the uh, you know commands sub commands are there what are all the other options are there you cannot do auto completion you cannot do kind of history so what all the features are there in aws shell and we will go through some of the examples this is a github repo by aws labs itself aws hyphen shell so it explains what it is how to install like again the same thing pip install aws hyphen shell and then there are some very good features like once you you just enter aws hyphen shell you will get something like this aws angle bracket and then whatever command you were writing with aws you can write the similar command with aws and then now you you don't need to write aws you can directly write the command sub command and if there is any filter query different optional parameters so here you just see this ec to describe regions in the same way you can even add like okay before entering this which profile i should add so now it will act on this profile by default it will be the named as a default so even you can change that once you are entered here if you want to work on different profiles, just write like this. It has auto completion. It has shorthand auto completion. It is having server side auto completion, which means if you just type something like this, and if it is looking for server side data, it will look for and it will list it out here. You can do fuzzy searching, which means you just type few words like instead of typing describe reserved instance offerings. Ha, so much relief you just have to type dirio or some of the words the first characters of such words like describe instances you just type desc and inc it will take care of that it has inline documentation we will go through that and i just like it it has face style auto suggestions so if you have typed something in past it will show you all the things here and command history you can of course see the history here so that's what uh, you can do that up arrow down arrow and you can go through the different histories so toolbar options are there we'll see that as well and once you are done with the aws shell command you can get out of it by using dot exit or dot quit even you can type control d in mac okay now we are inside our terminal so first of all we'll see if we have installed aws hyphen shell or not yes already satisfied it means it is already installed uh, let's type some command and try to figure out like i will try with ec2 and ec2 let's go inside aws shell so by default it is taking my default profile now you see this type of shell you will get with aws and down you can see all these options let's we'll start with ec2 see it is showing me all the options which it has with AWS. Describe spot fleet instances. I mean, related to describe what all methods are there. It is showing me all the details. So I will just type describe instances, what it displays. So it is displaying so many things. Now we want to filter out. We want to query something like show me only the uh, EC2 instances which are in running stage or which are in a stop state or show me only the instances which is having t2 dot micro instance type and the region is let's say us hyphen east so those type of details we can give what we can do is just type ec2 again describe instances see this is face like auto suggestions now as i have already run this command earlier so it is showing me that option now hyphen hyphen filters so we have already explained what is hyphen hyphen filters, what is hyphen hyphen query in our AWS CLI video. If you have not gone through that, please go through that. Here is the video which I uploaded yesterday about AWS CLI in which I have already explained all the different uh, command lines like S3 and then what you need to type. You need to type sub command. S3 is a command and then you need to type sub command. And after that, you need to type some kind of options or parameters so let's say i want to say that 
filter and the instance type should be t2.micro and then uh, availability zone should be us east 1a now this was a filter which will give me only the instances having instance type t2.micro and availability zone us hyphen east hyphen 1a now i want to display the result in a such, such a format that i just want instance id image id and the security group id attached with it and what would be the output format so output format this time i want in a text format i will just enter it now you see this is giving me instance id this is a image id and this is a security group. so we'll see another example describe volumes what all volumes are attached with this ec2 instances okay i did some mistake here see i got i think i have two volumes attached right now again i can do filter query on that like show me the and uh, if, if it will delete on termination is true or not or what is the availability zone of that volume you can do like that or, or tell me the what is the volume type so again you can do hyphen hyphen filter or hyphen hyphen query okay now something i wanted to show you is if you see there are so many images public images available in ec2 so now i just want to see if there is anything like kali linux image is available there or not so here uh, even you are inside the aws shell you can run exactly like this and then you can pipe it you can run any linux command that you want so i will type it what this command does this command actually searches all the public images available with ec2 and then grep it with kali linux and it displays the result it actually takes some time to search the images so i'm pausing the video here you go so there is only one image with this name kali linux so now we'll go through different s3 exercises so with the s3 i will just type ls it will display me all the bucket name available with that default profile so what else you can do with the s3 command these many sub commands are there so you can copy something from your bucket let's say s3 and then for example i'm going to download everything whatever is there inside this so what i can do is i can type hyphen hyphen recursive or is it showing any example here hyphen hyphen all these options also it is showing like it can if i type hyphen hyphen recursive it is going to get me all the files under that specified directory so this is one way to download this in your local repository same way you can copy this this older s3 bucket to your newer place you can give any name new bucket and make sure like the bucket name is unique you can copy and if you don't want to uh, write cp command with hyphen hyphen recursive you can use sync command now we will see the option f9 f9 is telling it is a focused on cli so this is a cli command what if i type s3 and then ls so it is telling you list s3 objects and common prefixes under a prefix of all the s3 buckets right what if i type sync automatically changes sync directories and s3 prefixes i'm going to create a bucket so it is telling me this now there are lots of options inside this but i cannot see this so to go from cli mode to document mode you have to press f9 now you see the cursor it is in document mode focus is on document mode so now you can scroll down you can see all the options okay now again you want to go back to your focused mode in cli just again press f9 now you are in here i'm going to create a bucket name with this syntax make sure it is again the bucket name is unique if it gets created it will give you the output like this make bucket and the bucket name is got created how to confirm that again do s3 and ls and you see this got created on so and so date now i mean have this bucket in my s3 so what i will do is i will go s3 i will run this command s3 rb rb is for remove the bucket again you need to give the same bucket name. so it got removed now let's go to some of the examples related to iam if i type iam there are so many things i can do here so first of all i will list out all the users so these many options are there i'm going to run this list users command it will list me all the users this format like username user id arn 
but what i want is i want to specifically show only user id and arm so what i need to do is again i just need to type iam list hyphen users and there will be query there will be an option so i am putting it uh, output as a table and the query is the first line here with this after this curly bracket it is users with a square bracket which means it's a list so i have to type users and then i'm giving the star which means it is giving me all the things till this place now after that i'm giving dot so i'm going to each of this curly bracket inside and i am choosing arn and user ID of this and printing this. Let's see. Now it will show me all the users, but only in ARN and user ID. And the format looks good. Next command is I want to list the attached user policy. So what I will do is go to list attached. So it has three uh, policies, role policy, user policy, group policy. I'm just going to see the user policy. And what will happen if I just type this? It will give me an error and it will tell me like hyphen hyphen username is the required one. Then let's type user hyphen name and you see it is telling me like it, it should be a string a friendly name not arn which means not this whole arn i have to type this friendly name so let's type hari i have all the users like hari jassi mahes prithvi rajat ravali so many users i will just type this yes i got it okay what should be the next command let's go to cloud formation so it means we have seen so far about ec2 s3 im you can do everything for example if you type cloud it is showing you everything cloud related to cloud cloud shm cloud front cloud watch cloud formation so what if i type cloud formation now it is showing me all these sub commands related to cloud formation for example i am going to create it or validate it Let's say I already have one uh, cloud formation template. I'm going to validate it. After this, it is not showing me anything, right? If I press enter, it will tell me an error occurred when calling the validate template. So either the template URL or template body must be specified, which means I have to pass template URL. Okay, so template URL is here. Now this URL should be in S3 bucket. You can see that example here template url and the location of file containing the template body the url must point to a template that is located to an amazon s3 bucket so if you have uh, that template url ready with you just type this and validate it if it is having json format or yaml yaml format and if it is in correct format it will show you that it's correct otherwise it will give you an error so that's all for this video guys now if you want to exit from here you just type exit or quit or do control D. I will do exit. So please write in comment section if you want to learn some other commands or share your common commands which you basically use with AWS CLI. If you like our video, please like, share and don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.